everyone, it's Erin and we're setting up another bullet journal today. I added a reading tracker to my initial setup and I just wanted to show you that in case you watched my video from like two videos ago. All right, and we're gonna get straight into the calendar page for August, 2021. I'm using the Tombow Jewel Tip brush pen using the not brush end of the, the Tombow. Are they Jewel Tip or is it just Jewel brush pen? I keep saying it wrong, I think. Anyway, while you're watching, if you're thinking, wow, this is cute, but too much work, you don't have to put any of the work in. If you'd like to, you can head to my Etsy store, Erin and the Light, and you can actually buy this setup and print it out and stick it in your journal. And that is significantly less effort than going in with a pen. So just wanted to let you know that that's an option that you have if you'd like to. Cool. So this is a notebook therapy Tsuki. This is the 160 GSM bullet journal. Mine is the mint matcha colorway in case you were wondering. And I like the Suki original size. Somebody commented on one of my videos recently and was like, wow, I can't believe you can use that. I actually really like that it's quite small. It's a little bit smaller than an A5 journal. So if you're using a similarly sized book to me and you wanna make a similar setup to this one, these boxes are five by five spaces and you can just place them on the page however you feel is the best fit for you. Gonna carry on and add my August header over on the side here. I'm using the same end of the same pen. You could you could kind of leave it there in black and white and it would be pretty cute, right? Um, I'm going to add some color because I like colors a lot. Even though I like my stuff to be pretty minimal and quick and easy to set up, I, I will not always avoid the color. Sometimes I don't feel like it, but sometimes I do. This blue is the Tombow 528 in case you're wondering. Later on, I'm also going to use the 533 and also a Faber-Castell Pit Artist brush pen in Pink Matter Lake. This one, this that, that I'm using to do the little circles, yeah. So I just added a little highlight along the top to put the name of each day of the week and I'm doing a little circle in the top left corner of each of the boxes to put the number for each day. Um, August starts on a Sunday and that messed me up a little bit later, as you'll see. My go-to fine liner at the moment is the Bic Intensity Fine. I don't actually know what line weight it is. Um, oops, I only did up to 29. Don't worry, I will realize that and fix it soon. But for now, I'm gonna get stuck into some decoration. So you know when you're a kid and you're like, let's draw a flower and you just do five little loops and you're like, cool, that's, that's it, that's my flower. That's my decoration <laughs> for this month. It's so super easy. The trick here is you draw your little flowers in clumps of twos or threes and then you've got this cute kind of clustery intentional kind of design going on so that's basically all i'm doing i i'm making sure that they kind of hug the curves of my august header there just because i think that looks really cute and actually kind of like sakura springtime cherry blossom kind of vibes which it's very very cold here in australia at the moment and at the time that i'm filming this so i love the cold but it's also really windy and I'm a bit sick of being a ball of static electricity, if I'm being totally honest. So maybe that's why I'm doing like a summary, pretending I'm in the other hemisphere kind of bullet journal layout. One thing with these little flowers, they definitely don't need to be perfect by any means. I like to go in with the colored pens first and then I'll go back over them with the fine liner. And you can, you can correct a multitude of sins just by adding your, your black line over the top in a way that's a little bit more careful, I guess, than the way you add the color underneath. Like it can go outside the lines and be very, very cute. So that's just me. I like to do it in that order for this particular kind of flower. Sometimes it's the other way around, but that's my hot tip. I actually kind of think these look like a, a candy. Is there some kind of Sakura candy that looks like this. Someone please let me know if I'm crazy or if I, I didn't dream that. Some kind of like hard sugar candy, I don't know. Now I'm gonna add in that 30th and 31st that I forgot. The 30th is my grandmother's birthday. So I'm so sorry to my grandmother for forgetting to add her birthday to my bullet journal until now. And I actually realized after I'd drawn everything out in pencil to get ready to shoot this video that I had forgotten to give myself a goals page this month. So I'm just gonna tack it onto the bottom of this one so that I still have somewhere to add some goals because if I don't add some goals, I won't get anything done. <laughs> I really need to have some goals and they don't really need their own page. So that's gonna be an interesting little test for this month. The next page, I'm going back to an older kind of design for how I did my gratitude and habit tracker pages. I had one very similar to this, I think in February where it was gratitude, habits, and then a skincare, like a dedicated skincare tracker down the bottom. I'm doing the same thing all the time for my skincare at the moment, so I don't really need to track that. So I've actually changed up the bottom part. So this is gonna be my sleep tracker 
now instead. Not the part that I'm drawing out right now, that's gonna be habits, but the bit that goes down the bottom. That is gonna be my sleep tracker. I like to have the day of the week, just the initial for it, above the numbers on my habit tracker or I get really confused. So I seem to be able to remember like what I did on Friday, but not what I did on the 27th or like two days ago or whatever it is. Um, This bottom one, that's going to be my sleep tracker. I've been finding that the way I've been drawing out my sleep trackers lately. Oh, I made a mistake. I went Saturday, Sunday instead of Sunday, Monday. That's okay. Don't look too close. Um, I didn't have enough space on the page to do the full range of hours that I sometimes sleep, the way I have been setting up my sleep trackers. Like it was working, but sometimes I'll go to bed really early and sometimes I'll go to bed really late and sleep in until like 10 o'clock in the morning, which isn't ideal. I work from home for myself so I can get away with it. But yeah, I just, I wasn't able to effectively track my sleep because I didn't have enough space on the page to put all of the hours. So things are just hitting up against the end because I've been sleeping in a lot lately. So Instead of doing that, I thought I'd try a different system. This way I'm going to be able to fit more hours in a more condensed space. So we'll see how that goes. If you want to see how this is tracking, like how it it goes as I fill it out, you can follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram handle right here, erinsmith.art. That's the one. I nearly said the wrong thing. I'm just going to jump back in with these pens and highlight numbers and initials for days of the week just to make sure that they're, I guess, delineated demarcated that they are separate to where the habits go I guess I actually forgot I usually do some straight lines across the page where the habits go and I didn't do that this time and that's actually going to make it much harder to fill in so I'm probably going to jump back here this is what I mean about the sleep tracker like they've all just been hitting up against the edge it's actually going to make it really hard to track the habits if I don't have those lines to to follow along to see like you know, once you get towards the end of the month, which space you're supposed to be filling in or putting a dot in or however you fill out your habit tracker. So I might actually go in and add those. You won't see me do it in this video because I didn't realize until just now as I was recording this voiceover that that was something I neglected. Um, oops. Oh, well, just going to pop a line down here on the edge of the gratitude so that I don't end up with wonky spaces as I fill this out. This system for gratitude kind of leaves me enough room to write a couple of words for each day. And I feel like that's a lot less pressure because usually if I give myself two lines or a whole line, I feel like I have to come up with multiple things. And then I'm like, why am I stressing over this thing that's supposed to be nice? So yeah, anyway, let's carry on. Let's add some little flowers on the page. I'm trying to space them out so that um, in a cluster, you have like two of one color and one of another color, if that makes sense. So two blues and a pink or two pinks and a blue or one pink and one blue, wherever they go. Just very minimal. I'm only doing a handful of these little flowers on each page because I think that's enough, like like seasoning, you know, just to spice up the page a little bit. They don't need to be everywhere. I think it could be cute with more, but this was all I wanted for this particular system. Sometimes I feel like putting a lot of effort into my layouts and other times I really don't. And this is not to the level of my May setup where I was just like, look, all the decoration this time is going to be little border corners and some colored lines. This one is, I guess it's a little more involved than that, but honestly not by much. So if you're looking for a beginner bullet journal layout, I think this one would be pretty cute, really easy to do. So just saying, just a suggestion. This next page is my spending tracker. This is an essential spread for me. I like to track everything that I spend so that I can see it all in one place. I run a couple of businesses and I have, you know, business expenses for those and general life expenses as everyone has. So it's nice just to see, you know, where where I could be potentially saving money and where I, oh, I set my line way too far, um, where I could be cutting back a little on spending, which is definitely food delivery. <laughs> I'm aware and yet I continue to do it. Ugh. I just fixed up that line where I went way too far with a little bit of correction tape. This stuff will forgive your sins in your bullet journal. So I do recommend that very much. I'm going for the pink in my heading sections of the spending tracker because I think it's just easier to see text over the top of it. So that's all good. Um, item cost in category. So everything gets written down just a really brief description. So say I got food delivery, I'll write like Deliveroo and the date and then category will be whatever uh, whatever I've assigned. So I've got categories for like my car and K 
categories for business expenses and categories for entertainment and stuff like that. And then at the end of the month, I go through those categories, I tally up how much I spent in each of them, and then I transfer it into the beginning of my previous notebook because I didn't want to bring that whole spread with me. Like I didn't want to bring the stuff where I want to see a whole year at a glance into a new notebook when I could just put it in the old one because I do all my bullet journaling at my desk at home anyway. So it's, you know, it's not like it's out of my way to just grab my old book. It's just in a drawer at my side. I'm doing a mood tracker this month because my mood has been <laughs> erratic lately. I think it's just the general, when is this COVID stuff going away? When can I get my vaccine? Because if you know anything about Australia, not to get like controversial, but the the vac- vaccine rollout here has been a bit of a shambles. And um, I just think it would be good to be able to see my mood on a page in a way that's cute and not going to make me sadder. <laughs> I don't know. Anna Arcana made a really good video recently about languishing, the term languishing. And I think the whole world is maybe feeling a bit that way lately. So I don't, I, I'm trying not to feel too bad about feeling a bit bad. You know, you know how it goes. We're all there. So that's the mood tracker. It's just my little flowers and they're not colored in yet. Um, and we're going to carry on. My camera actually overheated at this point. My camera is not actually my camera. It's a review camera, which I sometimes do that. I review cameras on this channel, funnily enough, although not as much as I used to. So if you see a camera review pop up soon for a Fujifilm, what is it? XE4. Um, that's why I was using it to shoot this video. And I also used it to shoot my flip through and my initial setup for the beginning of this notebook. But this was the longest video I'd used it for so far and it overheated and then I had to wait for it to cool down. So I've already done two of the uh, weekly layouts here in the book, which you just saw a minute ago. (laughs) And now I'm gonna do the third weekly layout of the month with you so that you can see. This is the same header setup that I did on the previous page for the mood tracker. It's kind of similar to my May setup where it was just colors behind things. So it's just a line and I'm also doing all the highlighting for the other ones as well at the same time. It's just a line and then I'll put a line of another color underneath it on that right page there. That's going to be to-do lists like that. And then I'm just going to write over the top of it with that not brush end of the Tombow Jewel pen thing. And there we go. Blue line. Cool. The weight of the line is quite different with the, the Tombow's got a much longer tip than the Faber-Castell pit artist to brush pens have. So they're different like thicknesses, but it doesn't bother me at all. Just adding to do and I've got work and home over on the right hand side of the page in the printable version. I've also got one that looks exactly like this in case you wanted to use exactly what I'm using, but I I did a blank version there so that you can fill in your own categories if you wanted to, if you had like school and home or I don't know, something else, whatever fits into your life, then you can have that. And this is from the 16th to the 22nd on the left side here. So I've made it kind of like a brick wall setup, I guess. I've never done a weekly like this. So the events will go on this left page, just in the boxes. Um, I don't need a lot of space for events, but I just thought it would be fun to try something a bit different. And I've been enjoying my running to-do lists the past couple of months, but I wanted a different weekly layout just to keep things fresh and interesting. So this is what I'm trying out this time. Adding my little flower decorations. I actually didn't add any to the previous setup while I was waiting for the camera to cool down again um, because I wanted to show you what it would look like if you didn't add decorations on. So keep an eye out for that in the final flip through, which is coming very soon because this is the last spread that we will be setting up together. Just going to add on the black lines for these little flowers. It doesn't take very long at all. Boop, 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 and it's done. Just little loops that all go into the center. I actually think they look like frangipanis. So if you wanted to, you could leave them white and just put a little bit of yellow in the center and then you've got an instant frangipani theme, which is always nice. Frangipanis make me super allergic. Not my favorite flower, but there you go. And this is the final flip through for August, 2021. I hope you've enjoyed planning with me for the month ahead. If you'd like to subscribe and see more videos in this kind of style, please do. Um, And you can find all my social media and my Etsy store links in the description down below, as well as everything that I use in case you'd like to check out the stuff. Here is that undecorated weekly spread, just so you can get an idea of what I mean. I'll catch you again in another video soon. Otherwise, head over to my Instagram for the in-betweens and the pages with pen. I have one more weekly spread to set up here. And then we are into the rest of the book, which is full of potential and fresh pages and many dots. I hope you have a wonderful August and I'll catch you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.